doing a little tutorial here on how I modify these little swim baits. It's just a normal one. I already clipped the bottom off. Took the hook off. Hook off that one. Kind of the same way Butch Brown and the guys that run those big uh, Huddleston swim baits hook their Huddlestons. It's the finished product. Fish bites that thing and gets that hook in his mouth. Pops that out. And they don't have the weight of the swim bait. You got all hook. Most likely that swim bait will be outside the fish's mouth. So that just sits right back in there. So see this one don't have the gills yet. So I'll show you how I do the gills. When I do the gills, I just take this exacto knife, get in a few centimeters and just run right along that gill, just about as deep as that second line there. You see that second line? I get the blade about that deep. Try to keep a mental record how deep I went. Make a similar slice down the bottom. Just about to that lip there. I'm going to take a piece, red felt, cut a little piece of it. Maybe a little long, so we got to clip it off. I got a bend in it, so it'll fit right in that gill. same cutters that I cut the bottom bottom loop off that had the original hook on. What we do here, see I got that nice and open. Back and double check. Cut that open. Take this little piece here. Turn it right up in there. Take our ye old trusty crazy glue. And just smear that thing. Completely coat it. Be a little uh, excessive with the glue, just don't get it all over the swim bait on the outside. Make sure you get the back of this flap and just push and hold it down. I have to glue your finger to the uh, swim bait like I did. <laughs> I try to hold it right to about a spot. So that's a little bit too far. So I want to push that in, make it look a little more realistic. And just kind of hold it there. It takes a second. You got to be patient. kind of hard to cut that gill slit right so yeah you may mess up a couple of them I'm trying to learn how to do it and I have
but I just slap some glue under it and push it back down and Crazy glue usually takes a minute to uh, set up. Crazy glue takes a second to set up, so I'll jump over to the other side. Make that same cut. You want to go in at about a 15 degree angle. Try to make sure you get that blade all the way in there because if you keep going and cutting like that, you're going to cut different path through it you want one straight solid cut you can go right back through that cut and make it deeper but you don't want to keep like a saw and up and down with the blade go really slow so you don't pop out and cut yourself So here we just cut a little piece of this. Bend it on a 45. Open up your flat, make sure it's deep enough. You want to get the ends of those metal poked down in there. Once they're poked down in there, you go with the glue again. You're going to get a bunch of little fibers hanging out, and that's alright. The glue will adhere to them all, and they will come off in the water if they're there. Okay, so we got the other side glued here. Since it's see-through, you know, you can see that red gill. Looks pretty cool. Little trick I learned watching videos. See, now this side, I held it down. Let that glue set. You can just come back, and pop it open. And it won't be hanging way out farther than it should be. That's if you glue it and it's hanging way out to the side. So you just want it enough 
where you can see that little bit of that red gill. As fish come up to eat it, they're going to see that. It's going to look just that much realer. A lot of people forget that bass can see about 30 times better than we can with color spectrums and speed when it comes to speed and they're chasing a bait like this bass can actually see in slow motion and a lot of people don't know that so when they come up to bite your bait and it looks fake they're not going to eat it a lot of time when they're a 10 pound bass they're going to see all those little imperfections so putting a little little bit of a gill you know and that thing's running it's got that red gill and with this one, you know, you get that hook. I think I got this hook just a little bit too far back. I may even clip this line right here and retie it again. It's it's a pain, but it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Get that thing down there swimming. When you run that thing fast, those bass are gonna chase that thing down and kill it. And there's another little trick I've seen them do. They'll take the knife and go right behind the fin here. On both sides always cut A to B B to C from this point to this point you don't want to go this way you want to go back to where you went in the first place side here and all this does is let lets that fin out there a little bit and I've seen him take glue and stick the glue behind the fin Really careful you don't cut that fin off. But you want to get right to about the end of where this green is. Just like that. And see that? You have to just put a little drop of glue right back here. Now we'll hold it up and off of where it usually sits. So, so now that just gives one more little thing that's going to be flapping down there. Well, that's what we'll do here. Get them finished up and then take them out and swim them. See what we can do. Urban Bass Slater's out. Okay, so to put the hook on like I did this way, I tied a Palomar on the front, as I've done here. Nice and tight. And the trick is to get that second Palomar about a half an inch that way you're hooking that you clip one of the barbs off you bend it out a little bit it's 
Try not to poke yourself. That thing bent out. When those fish bite, it's going to pop straight up out of that rubber. And it's not going to get caught in there. So you try to get an idea of where you want that in there and how it's going to sit on top. Instead of one top hook, you got two. And when they bite that thing, man, that they're getting all hooked. Because they usually, when they hit these bluegill, they hit them like this. When that hook pops out, bait falls out of their mouth, they got all hook in their mouth. They don't got that weight of that bait to toss the hook. 